All right. So I have made the decision to do a quick uh, what not to do in your Viper video. Do not let the battery go dead. Always keep a battery tenderizer hooked up. So what happens with Vipers and, uh, and their endothelial system is uh, once you have, once you let the battery, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Once you let the battery go down, it tricks the system and uh, the system doesn't reset. So, uh, so when you start the car, the car won't stay start. Uh, it will start for a second or two seconds and it will just kill itself. That's how the safety system works. And don't be, there's two ways to reset it. A, you take it to the dealer and the dealer uh, deprograms it. And B is uh, open the bottom of the steering cover. Uh, James is sitting there also to show you. And there is, a, uh, there is an orange wire. You disconnect that wire and you need to ground it. Once you ground it, then, uh, uh, then the alarm system uh, resets itself and then you should be able to start. And once it resets itself, uh, it will uh, it will honk for uh, three honks. And that means it's telling yourself that the alarm dis disabled itself and uh, you can start then. I guess uh, it's a fair warning for everybody else. Don't let your Viper battery run flat.